Dear future gen- With a fresh pair of eyes, you are eager to learn and fearless to try. From your first taste of solids to your first jump, the world is your oyster and nothing can stop you. It is a big world out there, and I want to keep you safe before I let you soar. I hope you understand why I pay extra care when it comes to you and the food you eat. After all, we are what we eat. Dear future generation, I hope you realize the risks in food safety and the importance of knowing where your foods come from. From farm to table, traceability is important and necessary. That is why I choose only the best for you, from the ingredients we use to the supplements we take. They are the best of nature and science combined. Dear future generation, our personal health and the health of our families depend on the purity and safety of the products we buy. And so, I hope you'll make smart choices for your family when the time comes. Just like how I did for you. Love, Mom and Dad. Anybody there? Do you realize about it? Okay. Yes, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, suddenly very quiet. I thought, I thought my, my, my light got, got cut off or what. <laughs> Hello, uh, Diamond Janet. Diamond Edwin. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Oh, yeah. Hope you all have to pick on your dinner. Are we going to start soon? Yeah. Can we start? Okay, that's good. Okay, good evening, everybody. My name is Alan, uh, coming from Singapore. My upline is uh, Tony and Casey, and they are also my mentor. Okay, uh, welcome to tonight's uh, meeting again. So it's good. I'm glad to see you all again, right? And uh, this is my second time uh, being the host. So. Uh, recently, I discovered that uh, I'm I'm actually stage fright now. Uh, so <laughs> until today, I'm still very stage fright. So I'm in fact very nervous every time I'm doing a host. Okay, so uh, tonight we'll be having uh, two awesome speakers uh, to share with us uh, their experience, all right, and some knowledge as well. And uh, so. Uh, Hope you all will stay tuned and uh, wait for their, 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 uh, this uh, fantastic sharing. So before we begin, uh, let me share with you the promotion for the months okay, for Indonesia, Malaysia, and Singapore. Okay, so let's, let's start. Huh? Okay, I hope everything is good. Everything is good. Start and... This oh it run away again. Okay. Here you are. Okay. This one is over already. Okay. So let, let us start, start with this uh Indonesia's uh June promotion, which is a uh, going to end soon, so you only have about uh, two days uh, of this uh, opportunity to, uh, to grab all the goodies. Okay, 
the pictures on the left, the picture on the left, uh, they, this one is talking about uh, referring to the neutral light uh, promotion. Okay, so what it means is uh, when, when else can you buy neutral, neutral light product and get a special price and quality saucepan that makes cooking more fun? Okay, buy any neutral light product for uh, one, one and a half million uh, rupiah and you can get an 18 uh, cm saucepan for only uh, 245,000 uh, rupiah. Okay, so this uh, saucepan is actually an exclusive design, 100% PFOA free, ergonomic handle, strong and sturdy material, non stick marble coating. It makes cooking faster and also means uh, more energy efficient. And the best thing is you can also uh, use it as an electric or induction cookers. Okay, so don't miss this opportunity. Last two days. All right, so uh, next uh, we'll have this uh, snap skin. Okay, waited for, for a long time to treat your acne immediately with this. Uh, no, you can treat your acne Im immediately yeah, with this promo. Okay, purchase 350,000 worth of uh, this uh, snap skin products that includes the acne gel, and you're entitled to buy the multi-mineral anti-pollution cleansing water at a special price of 30,000 rupiah. The normal price is 160,000, so you save a lot, okay? So uh, this, this thing, uh, just let me put a little bit of uh, this uh, essence to it. Uh. Remove, it, it remove uh, makeup and dirt in one swipe, and it contains C3 protector, and, and uh, vitamin B3, okay? Uh, niacinamide, so I don't know what is this, so sorry, okay? So uh, y'all can uh, check it out for, for uh, more information, but uh, from what I know, this is a very worthwhile purchase, okay? So don't miss the opportunity also, uh, last two days for you. Okay, so that's about it. Okay, this one is over, right? That's all for Indonesia. I'm so sorry. Okay, only two promotion for you. Then now we come to Singapore promotion. Huh? Okay, uh, Neutralite overall promo. So you receive one Neutralite sports item worth $30 with every $180 purchase on Neutralite products in a single receipt. Okay, the free gift will, in, uh, will give you the option of the, a pair of dumbbell at a one kilogram each. Okay, two color for you to choose. Okay, and also, uh, or you can uh, choose to get the uh, sports tower. Also, two color for you to choose. And next, we have this Father Day's bundle. Okay, receive a neutral light knee guard worth $30 and an XS black cap worth $15 for free with every purchase of the healthy well being set. So, uh, you can see there's uh, two set for you to choose. Okay, so. Uh, Go in and take a look. This one will also end by the end of the month of June. Okay, two more days also. And the next uh, ongoing online promotions. Two sets uh, of this uh, artistry skin nutrition, okay, which allows you to enjoy 5% uh, additional uh, discount, okay, which is the firming solution three-step set. And also the other one, the renewing solution three-step set. Okay, these two will entitle you to another 5% discount. And then we also have another set for these uh, skin serum bundles. Okay, uh, all these three uh, bundles, you will all get the uh, artistry dermosonic, uh, this uh, equipment worth $406 and you are able to purchase it at only $160. Okay as long as you add these uh, uh, bundles into your cart, okay? Next, we have this uh, Atmosphere Sky and the Atmosphere Mini trade-in program. This one will last till 31st August. So uh, exchange your old units uh, with Mway and receive a trade-in bonus of up to $500. So uh, if you exchange your uh, Mway, uh, this uh, air purifier, you will get this uh, $500 for the uh, Atmosphere Sky purchase. But if yours is an X brand, then uh, it's only worth uh, $300.
And then as for uh, the mini, uh, the trade-in for X brand will be $150. And if it's a uh, atmosphere mini, it will be $250. So this is a very good promotion, uh, which uh, makes every, most people uh, kept waiting. So now it's here finally, grab hold of the opportunity. Okay, don't miss it and uh, try to also uh, promote, promote it to your downline or your uh, new, new or your ABO, uh, your APC or even your friends. Okay, so uh, it's worth, it's very worth, worth it. Okay, very good uh, product. Okay. And also East Spring, we also have East Spring trade-in program as well. Uh, exchange your old water, field, uh, water treatment unit for a new e-spring and receive a trade-in bonus of $300. Okay, this is also uh, another promotion worth waiting for. Huh? So don't miss this opportunity. And uh, how do we do the trade-in? So nowadays, uh, uh, MWA has already uh, have, uh, make it uh, more simple. Okay, so all you need to do is take a picture of your current unit uh, brand and serial number of the unit, email it to sghelpdesk at mway.com together with your ABO, APC number and program as the email subject title, like example, eSpring trade-in, okay? And next step, a coupon number will be sent to you within three working days alongside with the, uh, with the details to proceed with trade-in. And then followed by the next step, you will re uh, receive, uh, you will to dispose your current unit at your own discretion. So you don't have to bring it down to the uh, MWA uh, warehouse uh, as uh, the, the previous uh, practice was, okay? And then after that, uh, purchase and enjoy your brand new unit with the coupon. That's it. It's just that simple. Huh? Okay, so go ahead and uh, promote it, all right? Okay, so now we come to this uh, body key challenge. So this one is going to end soon as well, 30th June, uh, 2020. So uh, if you want to take part, you have to purchase either one uh, pack, okay? The bundle, which uh, includes a jump start kit. And then uh, the second one is a trim and, fat, uh, trim and fit pack. And also you can uh, build your own uh, pack as well. So if you include uh, uh, your, this uh, build your own uh, products in one receipt, you are, able to enjoy additional 5% off. But if you uh, buy it separately, okay, you also can combine up to three receipts, but then uh, there won't be uh, additional 5% off. Okay, So uh, please take note of this. So upon the purchase, you, you are entitled to get this uh, uh, purchase with purchase uh, bundle, which includes uh, the in-body watch pack at 150 uh, and also a backpack. Huh? Uh, at only $120, which the total original price is $299. Okay, so this is also a very uh, good, good buy as well. Sorry. Okay, so then we come to this uh, Noxa pressure cooker special. Okay, a purchase of this uh, cooker, uh, you will be getting a free three-piece bamboo cutting board set, okay, which is worth $35. And... This cutting board, they are made of uh, very light and durable bamboo, giving them a distinctive, uh, attractive look. They are also super strong and easy to maintain. So you can chop anything you like, okay? Uh, so it's worth, okay? So uh, previously I had bought, bought one bam bamboo, uh, this uh, cutting board, uh, and it, it cost me almost $30, just one piece, you see? So, uh, this one comes with three pieces and it's free. So uh, grab hold of this opportunity. Okay. Next, cluster bundle promotions. Purchase uh, any combination, uh, which includes uh, two pieces of this uh, toothpaste and a mouthwash. You will be entitled to get a free blister dilution bottle, which is worth $8. Ah, I'm sorry, this one, the promotion, ah, this one is uh, until 30th May, okay, <laughs> all right, and then uh, Mway have this uh, 20th anniversary sponsor special, okay, and uh, all sponsors will receive a 20, uh, 
will receive $20 equal pawn for every new ABO. But minimum to have is uh, three new ABOs who have signed up between 1st April to 31st. So you can add up uh, two, two groups of uh, two groups or three groups of uh, this uh, of three, three person, okay? And then uh, accumulate till uh, 31st of August. And all three new ABO, they will have to utilize the three uh, e-coupons that they were entitled to. If they did not uh, use up uh, either, uh, this uh, coupon, then you will not be entitled. You will not be counted. Okay, so every three of them, you are entitled to have $20 for each person. So total, you will have uh, $60 if three of them utilize the, these uh, e-coupons. Okay, so this one will last till 31st August. So for more information, you can check with your upline okay, or go to the website to uh, understand more. And also, uh, MWA have this uh, free 2022 renewal for new sign up in 2021. So all new ABOs, APC in 2021 will be able to enjoy the free new renewal in 2022 and with a complimentary of $10 e-coupon. So this is also a very good uh, promotion and uh, it is a very good encouragement from our office, okay, our company, uh, for us to, to continue serving our this uh, APC and ABO, you know. Because last time when we have to, when we want to sign up, uh, we want to renew, we still need to pay money. But now MWA pay us money. How nice, right? Okay, so that's it for the Singapore promotion. And now we come to our Malaysia promotion. Okay, so there's three new launches for this uh, woman's health, uh, which includes the uh, Bloom from Within, Private Soulmate, and Shine from Within. Okay, so this uh, Bloom from Within is a ready to drink a botanical essence to help improve vitality for women in all stages of life. Okay, so it's a US patented uh, program. Uh, extract packed with uh, this uh, antioxidants. Okay, and it's also uh, vacuum sterilized uh, packaging, which is uh, safe for direct consumption. Okay, so please uh, go and uh, check it out for yourself and then and see how nice it is, okay? And uh, what are the benefits that you can gain from uh, uh, consuming it? And then uh, as for the private soulmate, okay, you meet your private soulmate in this cream berry flavored probiotic supplement that also contains the prebiotic fiber in inulin, suitable for daily consumption. Keep your V fresh and balanced while also supporting a healthy gut and stronger body defense system. So our Malaysian ladies, you're going to get uh, healthier and healthier soon, huh? Hey, and then as for our shine from within, ready to drink botanical essence for brighter glowing skin with a healthy rosy shine. So besides uh, being healthier, you also look prettier. Yeah? Okay. So congratulations to our Malaysian ladies. And then we have this uh, purchase with purchase, sweet delight foldable bag. So buy uh, any selected Neutralite products with a minimum purchase of uh, 250 ringgit. You are entitled to purchase a Neutralite sweet delight uh, delight uh, foldable bag uh, at only 390 ringgit. So that is very worthy. And this bag is actually foldable, light and compact. Pop it into your handbag or pocket for quick runs to the store. Uh, so it's actually design uh, inspiration for the bag. Uh. The design inspiration for the bag is every woman loves the feel of the wind flowing through her crowning glory. Okay, and as for this, stay informed. Oh, this one is uh, over already. This one is for the, for the main one, okay? And then, ah, Malaysia also have this uh, East Spring promotion. Uh. So you buy a uh, East Spring or a uh, East Spring plus Morphe Richards uh, redefined hot water dispenser bundle you are entitled to get this Color King saucepan. Yeah, okay, that is good. And which is, oh, sorry, which is worth 
140 ringgit. Yeah, it's made of ceramic and uh, big light. Okay, so the capacity is uh, 16, uh, 1600 ml. Okay, so it's able to withstand high temperature changes between 20 degrees Celsius and 450 degrees Celsius. And then uh, fair infrared radiation technology to lock in nutrition. Okay, so go for it, go for it. Huh? Don't miss the opportunity. This is also going to last till uh, end of this month. Okay. And then for the Noxa bread maker oven toaster promotion, Buy one of these and you are able to get a free Clayton uh, stoneware baking dish, which is suitable for use in the oven and microwave. This washer, safe and also freezer safe. And you can bake everything from your favorite uh, Cicero, sorry, Cicero uh, lasagne and uh, crispy pizzas to crusty bread or cookies. Okay, so this is also another good buy, huh? Don't miss the opportunity. Okay. So uh, as for APC renewal, that's a, the promotion is uh, extended to uh, 31st of August. Okay, how it works, uh, buy any core line product with uh, PV, right? And uh, uh, got to be online uh, or at any, uh, not, not really, online or at any M-Way shop during the promotion period and volume down to your APC for them to enjoy free renewal on their APC membership. Okay, so as for the promotion criteria, I, should, I shall not go deep into it. You all will have to uh, check it out on your own, okay? Because I want to save more time for our speakers. Right, yes. wow, there are so many promotions for Malaysia, huh? not bad. Okay, new ABO sign up at ringgit 60, APC 20 ringgit. So, on top and, and from there you enjoy e coupon total uh, 80 ringgit within uh, the first 90 days huh? so this is an enhanced one the new apc experience program is exclusively designed for new mway privileged customers safe when they start shopping for their favorite mway products and get rewards uh, up for grabs when your customers successfully sign up as a new apc so let's start with some great saving as we are rewarding them with free e-coupon worth a total of uh, 80 ringgit. Okay. So that's for the Malaysia June promotion. Uh, okay. So that's it. No more. And how do I stop sharing? Ah, back. Stop sharing. Okay. Back, back to, to my face again. Huh? All right, so that, that's uh, so much about uh, for our this uh, promotion for the three countries. And next, okay, we shall invite our this uh, first uh, speaker. Okay, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, Chin Chin will be first, right? Okay, our first speaker will be uh, Ching Jin. Okay, she, she is a senior mm -hmm. trade marketing manager in an MNC company, uh, concurrent, co currently uh, building M business. Sorry? Okay, so co currently building M way business as a uh, plan D to pursue financial freedom. So today she will be sharing with us a very, uh, very popular. Uh, books, which the title is Think and Grow Rich, which I think most people has uh, seen it before, but uh, she will uh, go into it and share with us more of the essence of this book. So uh, without further delay, uh, let us uh, give uh, Chi Chin a warm welcome. Chi Chin, the mic to you. Thank you, Alan, for that uh, introduction. Uh, good evening, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank our dear Diamond Janet, Diamond Edwin, uh, for giving me a chance to share, to give my humble sharing today. So for today, I'm going to share on a uh, book sharing. 
uh, with you all. So the book actually, uh, maybe some of you all have actually read it through. But I think this book is kind of uh, one of the Bible uh, mass, uh, for everyone who actually seek uh, enlightenment and success in life. Actually, it's more to self-improvement and self-development book. So uh, first of all, actually to uh, for those who are actually building the business, uh, uh, reading books is part of the personal development or to rewire our mind, mindset, uh, you know, to, to go through the throughout this journey, this entrepreneurship journey. So uh, part of it also, this is the book that I'm going to share, uh, the, the Think and Grow Rich. So Think and Grow Rich is by Napoleon Hills. So uh, how does this book come about? Actually, uh, there's a background of it. So there's a secret actually being put in this book. Why, why I say that it is actually um, a Bible. So the, the Napoleon Hill is actually being took on Andrew Carnegie. So Andrew Carnegie is one of the very successful wealthy businessmen. So he actually uh, uh, put an idea to Napoleon Hill, hey, why not actually you compile and you go and interview um, the successful people, how they actually groom themselves to become so successful today. And all in all, actually, uh, it is a practical uh, practices that actually these successful people make. And uh, from all, all walks of life, how does man actually make money and become successful? So Napoleon Hill actually took 20 years to, uh, for this task to make a research and to interview uh, many, many uh, well-known and successful men, hundreds of them, many, many of them, and analyze what are their attitudes, what are their mindset actually. So this book is actually carries on all the secret. So if let's say you, uh, you are actually uh, really, really keen on this, and then these are the uh, starting point for you all to actually to, uh, to get ready to know the secret of of uh, how people actually make successful on themselves, how they actually sail through the journey. So this will be my part one because this book uh, comprises of a lot, a lot of uh, uh, secrets. So uh, today, because of time, uh, time actually concern, I can only share only two of them, uh, three of them actually. So we have in total twelve to thirteen steps, uh, so called the messages, the key secrets. So I'll be, I'll be able to share with you all two to three. So let's start now. Okay, the first of all, uh, the first of all, actually we have to bear in mind in this, in this book, actually, it actually emphasizes on the thoughts, the mindset that we should have. So whatever thoughts that we have, whether it is uh, good, actually thoughts uh, uh, are the one, are the things, it's going to uh, translate into things on whatever that we think. So it is a powerful signal that uh, the success, uh, signal, the power of the signal uh, of, of our mind will actually determine whether actually it is a success or it is a failure. Okay, how to make life to say yes instead of no, it depends on our mindset, on all the plans that we have and all the ambitions that we have. So thoughts are things. So this is a keyword. So it's a powerful things when there are mixed with definiteness, definiteness of the purpose, the persistence, and the burning desire for their translation into riches or other material objects. So it comes on what our thoughts are. So this book actually train um, to have train us to have the right thoughts and right mindset. So whatever that you think. So uh, that's why we uh, that's previously actually I shared the magic of thinking big. So when you begin to think and grow rich, when you dare to think it, a lot of people do not dare to think because they merely they do not believe it. So actually, um, the brain, nothing. You just need to give a thought, give a thinking to it, just be to think. So when you begin to think and grow rich, you will observe that riches begin with a state of mind and with a definiteness of purpose and a little with little or not, not hard work. When you start to think, things will happen around you. And it's some sort of like, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the universe will bring all the opportunities. If let's say you will come, you actually your mind come with a purpose and with all the burning desire, you can start to see 
opportunities surrounds you. When when you when you don't start to think, you can't you can't see it. When you start to really think it with a purpose and with a burning desire, you will start to observe uh, every little opportunities appear in front of you. So our brains become magnetized uh, with our dominating thoughts. So we have to train our mind. What are the thoughts dominating in our uh, our mindset in our brain? So this actually with the dominating thoughts, it will actually it is a magnet that actually attract us to the forces. Like I said just now, it will attract the opportunities to you. Uh, wire some forces, wire some people, wire some circumstances of life, which will harmonize with our nature on our domination of thoughts. So when your thoughts are dominating. It will appear to you, the people that you need, uh, the supports that you need, the forces that, the energy that you need, and the circumstances that you need. So riches or poor begin in the form of thought. So you choose whether you want to be rich or the poor or mediocre. So definitely for all the people here, we seek improvement. We seek a happy life, we seek the successful life. So riches begin with a form of thought. So whatever the mind of man can conceive and believe and believe and be achieved, right? So this is the first keynotes the, the book actually brings us. Now, so uh, let's, let's, let's go into the first one. So the first step is actually um, uh, the, 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 the desire. So the desire, the dreams come true when your desire transforms them into concrete action and you ask the life of you and your encouraged life to deliver them to you. So it is that whether you have the desire, whether you have that burning desire, whether you have that significant why you want to uh, be successful in life. So that's the question that the first thing that we need to ask ourselves, why we live, uh, why our existence in this life? What is the purpose of our life here? And what uh, are we meant? How about our, our, what is our life meant to be? So that desire, you need to find that why first, that every time we talk about when we start a business, what actually make people successful is the why. The how will come later. Now, the why is much more important. So we come into this burning desire. The burning desire is truly desire on anything that you want. So here it talks about uh, money. So truly desire money so keenly that your desire is an obsession. So until you can obsess it, until you can see it, you can visualize it, and you can imagine it, what you are going to do when you acquire that wealth, the money, or the things that you want. So determine that you will convince yourself that you will have it. You already set your mindset that you already have it. Right? So until that, that stage of mind. So we can never have riches in great company unless that we work ourselves into a white heat of desire for money or the things that we want. And in actual belief, actually believe, you will possess it. You will possess it. Or, or some, some into some extent that you believe you already uh, obsess, uh, possess it. It's the, the matter of time only when you will, uh, you will actually have it. Okay, to win it, you need the definiteness of the purpose, the knowledge of what you want, and the burning desire to possess it. So no one is ready. So a lot of people talk about that. I need to wait until that I acquire all the knowledge, then only that I can have that desire. So no one is actually ready yeah, for a thing until you believe you can require, acquire it. A thing will happen until you, you believe that you we can acquire it. So the state of mind, the first thing is that you need to believe, not just like a mere hope or wish, the difference between wishing for a thing and be ready to receive, to receive it. So wishing is, uh, I just wish. So uh, you're not going to put a hard work. You're not going to put, pull you through because whether or not we are in this business, right? So challenges will come. All the obstacles will come into the life. So when you do the wish, right? I just wish. So the uh, obstacle will come. Whether or not you pull it through, it depends on the belief that you have. When you believe it, 
so you are ready to receive it whether uh, the obstacles that come into no matter what obstacle or, or challenges that come into your face yeah so put your dream across uh, really really to believe it means that put your dream with total belief so you don't mind what people will say when we meet the temporary defeat or challenges or every failure because uh, really really we have to uh, convince ourselves or believe that every failure uh, when we're not giving up every failure will brings the seed of equivalent success within it so whenever we have failure it is time to learn it is the time that we sharpen our eyes it is the time that actually uh, we uh, we equip ourselves with a lot, a lot of lessons that we have towards the success uh, as long as we do not give up. So if the thing that we wish to do is right and we believe in it, so we we'll just go ahead and just do it. So there's a case study here inside the book. Uh, there's a, you know, the successful, one of the successful people is Edwin C. Burns. When Edwin C. Burns start with um, nothing, zero, uh, at that time, uh, they have, uh, at that era, they have this uh, very great inventor, Thomas Edison, also a successful businessman. So Edwin C. Barnes has actually a very uh, burning desire. His desire is actually to work with uh, great inventor, businessman Thomas Edison. So he, he do not actually set his goal to work for, his work with. Means that I want to be a business associate with Thomas Edison. I want to be a business partner with Thomas Edison, but two challenge that he has, two challenge. Yeah. So he do not know Thomas Edison personally. Like just like us, we know the successful people, but that successful people doesn't know us. The second thing is that he lives far away from Thomas Edison. But with that burning desire, um, he actually uh, overcome a lot of challenges. Um, put himself, he, he, he already imagined, he already visualized that he is the business associate with Thomas Edison. So when he said that uh, mindset and we had with the burning desire that he has, so every, um, the new universe actually, the infinite intelligence, we call it, uh, on a sense that all people, we can actually, uh, either it's infinite intelligence or it can be universe or it can be God, right? Will bring to you the circumstances and opportunities that you will quickly identify it. So Edwin uh, C. Burns actually write on that opportunities from step, he actually meet failure, yeah? Every time he met failure, 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 failure. But every failure actually put him one step closer, one step closer until ultimately he actually uh, uh, got a chance through actually one invention of Thomas Edison. Uh, one invention of Thomas Edison, where the, the the current salesman of Thomas Edison to actually sell that invention uh, is not passion enough. And Edwin C. Barnes got the chance to actually uh, took on the distribution, distributorship for that new invention of Thomas Edison. That's how he became the partner, the business partner with Thomas Edison. So in the book, actually give that stories you can actually uh, write that through. So it's very, very interesting because Edwin Sivans actually uh, already proved that the desire, actually, when you think, when you think you can actually grow rich, you just give a thing and with that burning, burning desire, you can actually make your desire come true. Okay, this is one of them. And uh, one of the, these are also the so-called the significant Bible. These are all the steps, huh? the six steps on desire. So these are the, uh, in the book, it actually repeatedly talk about this. Uh, whether you go until the end of the chapter, it will ask you to come back and to review these six steps. So these six steps are the most important one. And uh, may maybe you want to actually screenshot this and put it in your bed. And then this is the formula, one, one of the secrets. Huh? So that, that desire, okay, firstly, it is to fix your mind the exact amount in uh, if the money is your desire. Lah. Put a definite to that amount. Okay, you don't say that, oh, I want many money. So how many is many? I want a lot of money. What is your a lot of money? Put a definite amount, say one million. Okay, so determine exactly 
uh, what you intend to give in return for the money you desire. Now, um, uh, I mean, in, in this universe, whatever that you take, it, it comes in a form that you need to return back. It comes in a form that the energy exchange. So you want that money. Money is a form of energy also. So you need to actually give in return uh, of energy. What do you want to give in return uh, to get the money? So you exchange it. So money is not going to come when you don't give the things in return. Say example that I would actually give, um, I, I will work harder. I will bitterly, uh, go, uh, I, will, I will meet more people. Okay, I will meet more people. I will actually share uh, the, this uh, business, the bonus of the business to how many people? in one month time, 30 people in one month time. I want to share the goodness of the product that I use to how many people in one month time. This determines exactly what you intend to give in return, what value you want to implant uh, to the people in return for the money that you desire of. So that does, that's, that's the second thing. And the thing, to set the date. Okay, you, you can't be like setting the thing. I, I want that amount without any uh, without any definite date. So it will be never ending. You will, you will never know when you want to get it. So it, it is also actually uh, subconsciously planned in your mind. Uh, there's a goal, when do you want to get it? So I also actually uh, read it from somewhere, Elon Musk. So Elon Musk has a very uh, significant quote here. So <clears throat> why you want to spend, example, the things that you can do in probably in uh, 30 days, why you want to spend the times to do it in three years or three months time. Okay, the things that you can do it in 30 days, why you want to set a goal, why you want to uh, drag it uh, to do it in like three months time. So it, you, you can actually, uh, the, the crucial thing is that we do not set a goal. So just set a goal, set a date. When you set a goal, we need to set a date so that you can actually plan in your subconscious mind when you want to have it. So now or later, you're going to have it. Why you want? Why you want to make it later? Why not make it earlier, right? So when you have that date already, when you have the amount, and when you tell the universe or tell the God that what you intend to give with the date, create a definite plan how you want to carry out your desire. So these are all the uh, small game plan already. What you're going to do by what time? So begin at once so that whether you're ready or not. Uh, so this one, the, the number four. So I, this one, uh, it is a learning for me also because a lot of time, right? I always think that I'm not ready. I'm not ready. So I, I wait, wait. So that procrastination will happen. So when you set that ready, just put aside whether you are ready or not. There's a quote also from Richard Branson, whether you are ready or not, when the opportunity sets, just grab it first. You will learn along the way. When you set your mind into it already, just grab it. Just start with it first, one step at a time. So to put this friend into action, right? So whether we are ready, because, because we are not going to be ready. We are not going to learn all the things under the universe at one time. So we just set a goal and put it into action and then learn it one at a time, right? That's the, that is the step number four. So number five, write out a clear, concise statement of the amount, write it down, right? When you have that, uh, fix your mind what exact amount already, put it, pen it down into a goal, uh, what you intend to give and all. Describe it all clearly through on pen down in the paper. That's why, why we say that um, the board in the bedroom is very, very important. And then the dream chart is very important so that we can visualize it, so that we can actually uh, put it in the auto, auto mode that actually it implant into our subconscious mind. So to write down that goal, to write down our goal. So uh, the number six is uh, more to me is uh, more to a power of spoken word that you speak to yourself, read your written statement out loud uh, twice daily and one before you uh, go to bed and one early morning when you come out from bed. So as you read, right, you can see and you feel and believe you're already in the possession of the money or the things that you want. So that emotion is so important. That will actually that emotion, uh, the subconscious mind will will being uh, will actually lead you into the action, into the powerful 
belief and source, a force that you need to have uh, to achieve the goal that you want. So th these are the six steps on the desire that is so important. It keep on repeated in this book, actually. This is the first chapter, but then at the end, it will ask you to turn back to this first chapter to, to remind you to have this again. So the first thing first is to, uh, to, to actually to cascade this, to plan this down, the six steps, yeah? So this is one of this. And then the second one, the step two, uh, we talk about faith. Okay, so uh, faith is so the second uh, um, uh, chapter. It talks about the importance of having the faith. So faith, directed faith will make uh, every thought crackle with power. You can rise to limitless heights, means that unknown boundaries, impelled with lifting force of your mighty new self-confidence. So faith, faith, when we talk about faith. So faith actually is a state of mind uh, which may be induced or created by affirmation of repeating instruction to subconscious mind through the principle of, of auto-suggestion. So we, 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 we talk about belief. The next level is faith. We believe in ourselves. We believe in uh, the things that we see tangible. So we, when we see it, we believe it. But what about the things that you can't see yet? What about... Uh, what about that? I will be successful. I will be owning like uh, uh, passive income. I'll be owning passive income, two million, two million uh, per year. Would you believe that? You can't see that yet. It's it's not happening yet. So that actually requires faith, a uh, faith to yourself. So faith actually, um, a lot of people will will uh, having this faith. La, la, lay your faith on on the the. Um, God or universe, the infinite, um, the, the infinite powerful source of the Almighty. So that's actually faith also can be trained when you give affirmation to yourself, repeated instruction into our subconscious mind until it becomes auto suggested that yes, I'm going to own that two million passive income in in how many in 10 years' time, in five years' time. Yes, you you've been repeating actually self-topic to yourself. So any impulse of thought which repeatedly pass on to that subconscious mind is accepted and acted upon by the subconscious mind, it will translate into physical equivalent practical procedure, which, is, uh, which are the action. It will translate you to the action. Now, a lot of people, uh, maybe, maybe many of you already know subconscious mind, but really, really subconscious mind is a, one of the powerful things. Subconscious mind is actually you will act on it without you realizing it. Example, we give you that uh, driving. So when you first drive, right? Driving, you know, uh, steering, you, when you first touch the steering, when you touch, navigate your car, first time you need to have a conscious mind. Eh, where to turn right? Eh? I have to watch the road. Eh? But when you repeatedly do it, you do not need to use the conscious mind already. Okay? So you will not need to, okay, um, be conscious to see, okay, where the steering, where is the, you know, the light, uh, where is the, uh, uh, how to navigate to left, right, and wash out the car. But it will automatically, how to start the car, you will get very auto. So that is the auto thing that we want to pass into our mind. When we want to achieve that things, it comes to auto, put it in ourselves into that auto option. Example that we will auto do the four basics. Because we train our mindset already, that is our action plan, we will auto to do it. So until we do not actually drag ourselves to do the four basics, you know, Diamond talk about how important is the four basics. I know a lot of people still drag, including myself, yeah, I have to admit that. Even, oh, what, 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 raining, or whether or not want to go, uh, hey, raining, want to go or not, eh? you know, raining season, you know, all the obstacles come. Uh, but when we, when we have that, so burning design and fade into our subconscious mind, we planted it already, it will auto go, whether rain or shine or whatever, we will still go. Because it is in our subconscious mind already. So, but the, the thing is, we need to repeatedly train it. So firstly, that desire, and then the faith is the element, the belief and uh, the faith and belief is the element which determines the action of our subconscious mind. Uh, this is what I shared about just now, that, you have to plan it repeatedly. So faith induced is induced, right? And strengthened by the instruction you give to our subconscious mind. So it, it is an instruction. It is more like a self-talk. So a mind can be dominated uh, at will 
to give the subconscious mind instruction so it will accept and act upon immediately. So we need to convince our subconscious mind we, uh, that, that we believe it and we will receive what we will ask and subconscious mind will actually translate it into an auto suggestion for you to act on it, the action on it. Um, but the faith, right, uh, in order to have faith, the key point is that uh, we need to have that self-confidence because if I say we do not have that self-confidence, right, uh, very hardly that we're going to have faith, right? So, um, so that's why we need to train our self-confidence, which uh, many of us actually lack of it many times. Uh, in our comfort zone, yes, definitely we have that confidence. A lot of times, um, whatever that we want is out of our comfort zone. And that out of the comfort zone is where it actually challenges our self-confidence. Now, let's look at it. How, what are the steps that we can actually train our self-confidence? So these are the five steps. Actually, uh, to me, it's it, it more likely that it is a self-talk to ourself. So firstly, we know that we have the ability to achieve. We have to tell ourselves that we have, we have the ability to achieve the object of our definite purpose in life. No matter how big your dream you set it is, so we have the ability, we have the power to achieve that. So we want to demand, I demand of myself persistent. Therefore, I want to demand myself uh, persistent, continuous action towards its attainment. And now I promise to render such action. So continuous action, yeah. So secondly, uh, we tell ourselves, I will concentrate my thoughts 30 minutes daily upon the task of thinking of the person I intend to become, who I want to become, thereby creating in my mind a clear mental picture. I can visualize myself who I want to become. I can imagine myself, how am I going to contribute by building the values to other people or making difference to other people's lives. Okay? This is the second one. Concentrate my thoughts on uh, visualizing who I want to become. And the thirdly, I know that true principle of auto-suggestion, which is you keep on actually train your mind, you, uh, you put in uh, your thoughts or put in the thoughts into your subconscious mind. Any desire that I persistently hold in my mind will eventually seek expression through some practical means of attaining the object back of it. Therefore, I devote 10 minutes daily of demanding myself the development of self-confidence. Means that we keep on actually uh, self-talk to ourselves that we'll be able to keep on actually inputting all the uh, all, all, all the instruction into our subconscious mind until it becomes so automatically. And fourthly, I have clearly written down a description of my definite chief aim in life. So this refers to the first six steps. We talked about the desire just now. So written down the goals, written down the purpose of your life, what you want to achieve, what is our aim in our life. And I will never be stopped trying until I have developed sufficient self-confidence for its attainment. So this is number four, uh, that we acknowledge that we have written it down, whatever, whatever goals that we have, and we continuously to develop it until achievement of that goal. So number five, it talks about the value that you want to carry. So I fully realize that on wealth opposition, can long endure unless built upon truth and justice. Therefore, I will engage in no transaction which does not benefit of whom it affects. I will succeed by attracting to myself the forces I wish to use and cooperation of other people. I will induce others to serve me because of my willingness to serve others. I will eliminate hatred, envy, jealousy, selfishness, and cynicism by developing love for all humanity because I know that the negative attitude toward others can never bring me success. I will cause others to believe in me because I believe in them and in myself. I will sign my name to this formula, commit it to memory, and repeat it aloud once a day with full faith that it will gradually influence my thoughts and actions so that I will become a self-reliant and successful people. Eventually, I self-taught this and then uh, to, to go through this with you. So these are the five steps to really to build back the self-confidence, eventually the faith that you can actually achieve 
the goals that you set yourself to. So uh, this is the part one. And like I said, there are many, many more. So it will be continued on my next sharing. So stay tuned. So with that, I end my sharing for today here. I'll pass back to Ellen. Thank you. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Ching Chin. Thank you for the fantastic sharing. Huh? And I just discovered I had a baluku here, you know. Uh, got, I just got a knock from Ching Ching because she just uh, wake me up uh, by sharing uh, what she has learned. And uh, honestly speaking, I feel bad uh, for not uh, actually uh, doing whatever she mentioned. You see? So that is why uh, maybe my result is still not as fantastic as uh, I desire. <laughs> so now from today onwards, I need to start uh, to, to have a bigger desire and more faith on myself. Thank you, Jinjin. Jin. And uh, I hope everyone also uh, had learned something from, from uh, her sharing. Okay. And so, uh, next, we will have uh, Daryl, okay, to share with us uh, uh, something that uh, he, 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 he just uh, got enlightened, I should say, uh, because Daryl was diagnosed with a spinal condition when he he he's 16, and that led him uh, started his journey to improve uh, his wellness. Uh, and over the years, he come to learn a holistic approach towards wellness. And so, uh, without uh, further ado, uh, let us uh, invite uh, Daryl, okay, to share with us uh, his uh, wellness. Daryl, mics to you. Hello, hi. Everyone able to hear me? If you're able to hear me, like, do type in chat, like, some uh, 888 or something. Then I can see that you can hear me. Okay, great. You guys can hear me. So, let's just start. Okay. So today, the topic that I uh, will be talking about will be about improving your memory, okay? So before I start, okay, disclaimer, that's a very important disclaimer, okay? I'm, I'm only an educator, okay? I'm, I'm an educator. I'm not a neurologist. I don't claim to know the brain, okay? I, I have no claims about that. The only thing I can share today is about what uh, I have experienced, what I have taken, and how it has impacted me, okay? So... Let's go on. So, memories. You know, all of us have memories, okay? And, you know, some of us, you know, might be, you know, very young. Some of us not so young, right? But all of us, we still have memories. But the one thing that is important to note is that no matter what age we are, there will definitely be times where we question our memories. You know, it's like we'll say something along the lines like, oh, uh, I remember you said something like this, but I can't remember now. Uh, something like this, right? So, uh. When, as, because I'm an educator as well, you know, when I'm talking to my students, then sometimes they'll, they'll tell me this, right? And then, you know, sometimes their parents will ask, hey, but you're so young, how come you're losing your memories? Right? It shouldn't be. No, no, okay? There's actually a very legitimate reason for, for this, okay? And I will be going in depth to do it. Okay, so questions that you should ask, right, about memories, right, that, that I, I want you to take back, because I'll be playing a video, but I want you to take note of these two things. One, how are memories formed? And two, how are memories lost? Okay, while, um, while I play the video, I want you to just, you know, take, take note of this. Okay, hold on. Okay. Are you able to hear? Think back to a really vivid memory. Got it? Why not? Why do we remember? I don't think you guys uh, are you guys able to see the video? No. Okay, let me let me let me press the thing again. Okay. Okay. And why do memories eventually fade? Let's look at how memories form in the first place. When you experience something, like dialing a phone number, the experience is converted into a pulse of electrical energy that zips along a network of neurons. Information first lands in short-term memory, where it's available from anywhere from a few seconds to a couple of minutes. It's then transferred to long-term memory through areas such as the hippocampus and finally to several storage regions across the brain. 
Neurons throughout the brain communicate at dedicated sites called synapses using specialized neurotransmitters. If two neurons communicate repeatedly, a remarkable thing happens. The efficiency of communication between them increases. This process, called long-term potentiation, is considered to be a mechanism by which memories are stored long-term. But how do some memories get lost? Age is one factor. As we get older, synapses begin to falter and weaken, affecting how easily we can retrieve memories. Scientists have several theories about what's behind this deterioration. From actual brain shrinkage, the hippocampus loses 5% of its neurons every decade, for a total loss of 20% by the time you're 80 years old, to the drop in the production of neurotransmitters like acetylcholine, which is vital to learning and memory. These changes seem to affect how people retrieve stored information. Age also affects our memory-making abilities. Memories are encoded most strongly when we're paying attention, when we're deeply engaged, and when information is meaningful to us. Mental and physical health problems, which tend to increase as we age, interfere with our ability to pay attention and thus act as memory thieves. Another leading cause of memory problems is chronic stress. When we're constantly overloaded with work and personal responsibilities, our bodies are on hyper alert. This response has evolved from the physiological mechanism designed to make sure we can survive any crisis. Stress chemicals help mobilize energy and increase alertness. However, with chronic stress, our bodies become flooded with these chemicals, resulting in a loss of brain cells and an inability to form new ones, which affects our ability to retain new information. Depression is another culprit. People who are depressed are 40% more likely to develop memory problems. Low levels of serotonin, a neurotransmitter connected to arousal, may make depressed individuals less attentive to new information. Dwelling on sad events in the past, another symptom of depression, makes it difficult to pay attention to the present, affecting the ability to store short-term memories. Isolation, which is tied to depression, is another memory thief. A study by the Harvard School of Public Health found that older people with high levels of social integration had a slower rate of memory decline over a six-year period. The exact reason remains unclear, but experts suspect that social interaction gives our brain a mental workout. Just like muscle strength, we have to use our brain or risk losing it. But don't despair. There are several steps you can take to aid your brain in preserving your memories. Make sure you keep physically active. Increased blood flow to the brain is helpful. And eat well. Your brain needs all the right nutrients to keep functioning correctly. And finally, give your brain a workout. Exposing your brain to challenges like learning a new language is one of the best defenses for keeping your memories intact. Yep. Okay, yeah. So, so uh, after watching all the after watching the video, wait, go on. Okay, yeah, so after watching, go on. Yeah, so after watching that video, right, the most important thing that you should be taking back, right, is one, why memories are lost and why memories are formed. Right? But I want you to just take note, right, the first thing they mentioned is that why memories are lost is because of age. The second thing is because of stress. These two things are something that all of us will experience, whether we are young or old. If we are young, you know, we have to study for exams, that's where the stress piles up and that's where we start you know, to lose memories. You know, and we, as we grow old, that's also how we, uh, we lose memories. But you know, as I, I hope that you, met, that you caught on to the last three points that they were mentioning about, which is the key question. What are the steps you take to preserve memories? You know, and the three key steps they did mention is that you will need to keep physically active, you need to give your brain a workout, and you need to eat well. Okay, so keeping physically active means you just need to exercise, right? You need to go out there and exercise and, and you need to at least, you know, incorporate a, a, a lifestyle in which at least maybe two or three times a, a week you go and exercise. Yeah, and I managed to find a video, right, that actually explains to you, you know, how exercise actually, you know, improves your memory. You know, I'm just going to just watch it for a while. Okay, just let me just uh, take the thing up. Okay. 
how exercise affects the brain. Yep, and this will people hold their video about it, okay? Everyone knows that exercise boosts physical capabilities and can even change physical appearance. But did you know it also improves cognition in the condition of the brain? BYU cell biology and physiology professor Jeff Edwards provides three ways that exercise affects the mind and can improve your quality of life. Exercise feeds the brain. Due to its high metabolic demand, the brain needs good circulation, and exercise induces strong blood flow to deliver all the nutrients required to carry out the brain's job. Exercise also secures priceless memories. People hold their memories dear, yet in reality, we only remember a fraction of our lives. Exercise improves memory by increasing molecular targets like the brain-derived neurotrophic factor. The more brain-derived neurotrophic factor, the more the memory improves in function and capacity. Finally, exercise indirectly pacifies stress. Exercise reduces stress receptors in the hippocampus and minimizes the effect of stress hormones on the brain. Additionally, working out stimulates the release of endorphins that act on opiate receptors in the brain to create the blissful feeling of a workout high. If the well-known benefits of exercise don't motivate you to start moving, hopefully the unexpected impact of exercise on your brain and cognition will. So, show your brain some love and start exercising. Yep, so that is just basically some um, additional benefits, right, that exercise has for you. Okay, so, let me just share my screen again. So the next thing that, you know, that is mentioned is that you need to give your brain a mental workout. But, you know, what does it mean to give your brain a mental workout? You know, we always go to office or we go to work, right, and then, you know, you feel like so stressed already. Isn't that a mental workout? No, that's not, okay, that's stress. What qualifies as a mental workout, right, is a multitude, a multitude of things. One, you can try puzzles. Two, you can play cards. Three, you can build a vocabulary. Four, you can dance. Five, use all your senses. Six, learn a new skill. Teach a new skill. You can listen to listen or play music. You know, you can try a new route. You can learn a new language. You can meditate. You can do Tai Chi. Or you can, you know, focus on another person. And if, because of time constraints, right, I'm not going to go through all 13 things i'm just going to go through a select few that i have personally done okay so one the first thing is about puzzles you know like um puzzles like chess puzzles or, or even jigsaw puzzles when you engage your memory your, you engage your brain to actually go and do puzzles you know it, it it's it's amazing how you can you can start to remember things more clearly and this is very important because for me when i was um when i was in secondary school because I took up chess and because I took up, um, um, uh, I, I was able to do a lot of chess puzzles at that time, right? It, it allowed me to improve my memory at that point in time because when I was in primary school, my memory was, was quite bad. You know, I, I could forget about things, you know, that happened like six months ago or, or even like one month ago, something important. But when I entered secondary school and then when I took up chess, when I took up, you know, like, like do puzzles, actually actively engaging my brain to do puzzles, I was surprised, you know, to see that my memory actually improved. So this is actually one way that, you know, you could try. You know, you could, in your, in your, in your spare time, you know, do puzzles as a hobby. Now, the second thing, playing cards. And this is very important. I am not advocating gambling, okay? This is very different. When, I, when we say about playing cards, we are talking about on the levels of professional players, like, you know, professional poker players. This is very different from gambling because when you are like a professional poker player, you use your mind to actually come up with different strategies to calculate the different strategies as well. And I'm not even just talking about just poker cards. You know? I'm talking about other cards, like you know, trading card games, you know, which, which, which I, I'm a fan of, which I, play in, uh, I played in the past. And when you actually use your mind, right, you're actively using your mind for something you enjoy. You know, one, it relieves stress. And two, you are using your brains. So it, it, it helps, you know, it gives you a workout that it needs. That's one way, okay? So, remember, playing cards does not, equivalent to, does not equate to gambling, okay? Playing cards as in using your mind to come up with strategies, okay? Next, vocabulary. I'm, a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm an educator, right? So, I actually have to, um, um, and because I also uh, educate people in English, so for me, it's very important when I go and uh, find new words that I've never known before in my life. 
And when I went to actively, actively, you know, uh, look at these new words, it, 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 it comes into my mind and I'm able to you know, remember, it's like each day I, I learn a new word or maybe not even each day, maybe each week I resolve myself to learn a new word that I've never learned before in my life, I've never used before in my entire life, but I want to go and learn it. It's like, I've never heard it. Okay, I, I will go and actively look at it. Then when I, when, when I did this for a period of six months, I found my memory, you know, to be, to be actually very, very good. Because, I, and the example I give is because, you know, for, for example, from 52 weeks, right, six months is like, like half of that, which is basically like maybe 20, 28, maybe 27. Yeah. So can you imagine that after, after the entire period, I was able to come up, I was able to actually remember all these 26 different words and I was able to, you know, all these 26 different words, all of them I was able to remember. So it actually does help you in, in increasing your memory. Next, dancing. When you dance, you know, as I, I, I personally learned how to dance when I was in um, junior college because, you know, at that point in time, I saw, I saw it was quite fun to dance, right? So I just took up, I just took up like a, a, a hip-hop dancing or a freestyle. And because the one thing a dancer can tell you, right, is that when you want to learn a new dance, you need to learn how to choreograph. You need to learn the choreography to it. And when you actively keep using this, your mind to remember your dance moves, that's how your brain is, you know, uh, uh, it's it, it strengthened. And that's how you, you call back on your memories. Because, you know, after a while, it, it just goes in your subconscious, right? So this is also another way you can, you can improve your mental capacity. Next, you know, there was one, there was one um, a, a key word that was used um, just now, which I said, engaging all your senses, using all your senses. And one way of why I did it, you know, to use all your different senses, your touch, your, your sense of sight, your sense of smell, your sense of taste. All of this, I, I took up cooking because for me, I, I like cooking, right? But when I actively, actively sat down and came up with new dishes, when I, when I, went, when I sat down and cooked for people, right? That was when my memory was called upon because, you know, it, it, it is, it's like a, a wave, right? An influx of different kind of uh, um, um, th different new things that you experience. Like when you, when you make something, when you cook food, you have to touch it, right? Because you have to, have the, you have to feel the texture of the food. You have to smell, the, the food must smell good also. Then at the same time, the food, obviously being food, it must taste good as well, right? And it must look good because if it doesn't look good, it's not going to be like tantalizing for people to eat. So in this way, when you use all your senses, it really, be, it, it, it cements itself as a memory inside, inside you. Because, you know, like I can, I, can, I can remember all the food that I've given to people. And when the food tastes especially good, that's when your memory is cemented. Then next, music. Playing and, you know, playing or listening to music. Be it like playing music, when you actually learn to play, like for me, I learned how to play the guitar because um, I went to church last time. So I, I learned how to play the guitar. So at that point in time, when you learn how to play the music, you have to call upon your memory in order to, call, to, 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 to remember how to play the different notes, right? And this is not only just when you play music, like when you, when you listen to new music. Like for me, when I listen to all the new music, like somehow or another, when I go into a shopping center, when I listen to this familiar music, I can immediately call upon the, the name. I can say, oh, this so-and-so's uh, so and so's, uh, music. Or when did I listen to this music? That's how you engage your memory, right? And after that, learning a new language. For me, I learned, I learned a third language when I was in, uni, in, when I was in university. I learned a, a third language, Japanese. Because to me, I like watching Japanese shows or Japanese films. So at that point in time, I learned Japanese. And like when you learn a new language, you really need your memory because all the different words, you have to learn how to pronounce them. You have to learn how to write them. So all of this engages your, your mental, your mental, your mental um, abilities, right? And you, you, you make sure that you can you, you call upon your memories in order to speak a new language, right? So next, the last one that I want to talk about is meditation. Because no doubt, a lot of the things that I've mentioned here, if you are a busy person, right, if you have to work every day, it's very unlikely for you to be able to go out there and, and implement it. The one thing, however, you can implement every day is meditation. And that's, that's no different for me. Because as, as an educator especially, when I work with uh, kids, most of the time, they're not so cooperative, right? And obviously, when that happens, you will, have, you will have a lot of stress. So meditation for me helps me, one, mentally reset myself, and two, ensure that I'm not as stressed. And when I'm not as stressed, 
I can call upon my memories much better. As, uh, and this is a way you can help, one, slow down memory loss, or two, ensure that you, know, you retain your memories. So the next thing that we want to talk about is eating well. And this is something that, thankfully, MWA, especially Neutralite, can help. Because you know, when, you want, when, you eat, when you eat well, you need all the different kinds of nutrients. But let's get real. You know, in order to get all the different kinds of nutrients, unless you eat a banquet of food, it's, there's no way that you can you know, get all the required nutrients. So that is when Neutralite comes in. The best of nature, the best of science. And the following products, right, that I will be discussing are ones that I personally took. And, you know, it has helped me. Okay. So one, the first thing, definitely, the core, the, the key, the key, the flagship product of Neutralite, which is our double X. You know, it contains 12 vitamins, 9 minerals, 17 phytonutrient plant concentrates, no cellular additives. The most important thing here is that it prevents cellular damage. And this is very important because, we, as you recall on the, the video that was mentioned previously, the reason for memory loss is because your cells are getting damaged. And Neutralite Double X prevents the cellular damage. Not only that, remember how I said you need to eat well? 12 vitamins, 9 minerals, 17 phytonutrient plant concentrate across the board. It's almost impossible for you, right, if you, especially if you're a working person, to consume all of this right, in a proper meal. So this is where double X comes in. You take it and you get the, your body gets the required nutrients. Next, we have coenzyme. Co coenzyme helps to generate energy in your cells. And this is something right, that, um, and, uh, that, that is important for us, especially when we start growing older. Because when we start growing older, you start to like, lose energy. right? And why coenzyme is important for us is because you know how um, of the three different points, one of them was to keep physically active, in order to keep physically active, naturally, you need energy. If you don't have energy, it's very hard for you to say, oh, I want to be physically active. Because you go out there, you run 10 minutes, you, you, you know energy already. So this is where coenzyme comes in. It gives you the energy to help you to go out, to actually make the decision and you know, keep to it, to keep physically active. Okay? Next, M plus tablet. This is one of the core, no, one of the, uh, the products right, in, in Neutralite that we actively recommend to people right, to tell them that, oh, this is for memory. This is helping to, to help improve your memory. And this is correct because M plus itself contains antioxidants that protect your brain from free radicals. And as you know, we lose uh, our brain capacity right, because of stress, because of free radicals, right, like, like the sunlight or, or pollution. So M plus itself helps protect against these antioxidants so that you, know, you don't start losing brain cells. And, and that's how you retain your memory and how it improves your memory. Then lastly, the excess energy drink. So this is something that uh, I take, right? Because I want to keep physically active. Because I, want, I, I believe in, you know, in, 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 in being active, in, in doing sports, or, or at least um, doing something every week, you know, instead of just cooping up yourself in, 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 in the room or cooping yourself in the office, like maybe like in the afternoons like of Saturdays and Sundays, I go out and run, I go out and do karate. So these are some of the different things that, that this is some of the things right, that actually keep me going because you know it contains vitamin Bs. Vitamin B is a very important vitamin right, that directly contributes to energy generation in the body. And because it contains multiple vitamin Bs and no sugar, you don't go out there and suddenly get a sugar crash. And this is important because you know I've taken different products before. I've taken Coke before. I go out there, 30 minutes, sure, can. After 30 minutes, I suddenly feel very tired because there's a sugar crash. There's a sugar crash. So this product, if you want to keep physically active in order to improve your brain capacity, this is something you can take. So, you know, with that, I've come to the end of the presentation. And I hope that, you know, you, you've taken back something and I hope that it has benefited you. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you, Daryl, for, for this, uh, wow, this very fruitful uh, knowledge uh, for, for us to, to, to gain. Uh, and in fact, I was so engrossed with uh, uh, getting all the information from you. I've forgotten uh, many things that I wanted to say. <laughs> so I got to start taking M plus in order to, uh, to, to repair my memory cells, you know. Okay, so uh, I hope everyone also uh, gain, gain uh, something out of this. Okay, so uh, it's time to start uh, learning new, new uh, hobbies, you know, getting new hobbies, uh, learn new songs or something like that. Okay, and uh, okay, talking about that. Uh, so uh, actually, 
I do have this uh, memory problem because, uh, in fact, I had forgotten uh, to thank our uh, Diamond, uh, Edwin and Janet okay, for providing this platform for us to learn and grow together. Okay, this sentence, I'm supposed to uh, put it across in, uh, in the beginning, but uh, so uh, now then I re recall. So M plus is very important. I got to start taking more. So thank you. Uh, also, thank you, uh, Diamond, uh, Ed, Ed, Edwin and uh, Janet for giving me this opportunity to be the host uh, tonight uh, so as to build, my, build up my uh, confidence level as well. All right. So uh, we have come to the end of the, the, this uh, seminar for tonight. And uh, before we end, I would like to uh, call upon our uh, Diamond uh, to, to, to uh, help us to do the closing uh, for the night. So uh, pass my mic to you, uh, Diamond Edwin. Okay. Uh, good evening to uh, uh, our friend here. Uh, I'm uh, very, very uh, when touching. Uh, everybody, I believe that you all daytime can work, you are so busy, but you still put effort uh, to really uh, to uh, uh, find so many information and also uh, spend your time here to share with us. Thank you, uh, Alan and JJ and also Leda. Uh, I'm, 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 uh, this uh, mentioned this uh, letter mentioned that uh, uh, to to have a, a healthy brain that uh, keep your memory very sharp. Uh, I think there's an, another way that to uh, to make it active. Like what Chi said, think and go rich, it will help. You try to do that, think and go rich. One day you want to be rich and you will always focus on something is positive and that also bring your memory healthy and your brain is very healthy. Uh, thanks, uh, Dada. And here tonight, I want to share a bit, a uh, little bit of this uh, people are thinking a big way, but why yet today they are not successful? I'm sharing my experience here. You notice that the rich people, they think very big. If you uh, observe that a lot of rich people and successful people, their thinking is very big. That's why they go rich. And you notice that there are some poor people that they always think, ah, yeah, I find a good job. That is enough to survive. But I want to tell you, today if you think only thing uh, uh, small to have a job, is good enough huh, to survive. Uh, what you consider is today market that you can survive. But you never, never huh, think about in future, five years later, huh, inflation will not, huh, I can, cannot match with your increase, uh, your, your increment of uh, salary. Uh, I, you have to believe that. That's why this group of people, they have the small thinking that's why they are poor. Uh, so I urge all here, we want to think big. As what uh, this uh, Jinning said, you have to think big to go rich. Not just think like the ordinary people, uh, just to, enough to survive. Today you can survive. Five years later, you will never can survive. So I ask you to do that. So here, my experience, I noted a few things. Then you are going to thinking anyway. Why not thinking big? Because you, have, you, you don't have to spend any money. Huh? I believe everyone are here got their thinking. They want to think to have some uh, for their living or they want to think something that in for their uh, future. Uh, why not you think big? Since you're already thinking. Uh, anyway, think big is important. No? If people are, uh, I can tell you my experience, uh, if people are, uh, I'm not calling you a uh, crazy yet. That means you are not thinking big enough. Why I say so? You know, in my past experience, when I was uh, busy with my conventional business, I do exporting product to many countries. The time I'm so busy, but I work with Amway. A lot of my business friends, they say that you are crazy. Why they call me crazy? Why they say I'm crazy? Because I think big. Huh? I think big enough because I know that commercial business, you can make money, but are you sure that your business can sustain? That's why I think big. So I find alternative uh, uh, business that, that can uh, build it very big and also can sustain. That's why they call me 
crazy. When today people say you are crazy, remember it. I am, you are fine. You are there, uh, very near to success. So this is important. Think big and didn't listen to other people who tell you it cannot be done. A lot of people outside that it cannot be done. Don't listen to them. Because why? I will tell you, their life is too short uh, to think small. A lot of people, they don't believe that. Today, you have to really uh, tell yourself. You really have to think big uh, to overcome this challenge for, uh, to, to really uh, have a good future. If not, uh, you will become a poor people in time to come. So why not really think big? Uh? Listen here. Uh, this is my message to you. You don't think, uh, I talk big. Uh, sometimes I talk very big. No? Even uh, my uh, this uh, friend around me, they say, you talk big only. Uh. I talk big, but I don't talk uh, uh, bullshit. You know, I talk big is, uh, they find, they, they, uh, they talk that I'm talk big, but actually I talk fact. When I talk Amway, Amway is a big business, I have to talk big. I cannot tell you Amway, I uh, only earn a few thousand. Amway can earn, really, you see all the uh, FC and all the diamond, uh, they have good time, so you have to talk big. But you are not that yet. It's okay, you talk big, you talk about other successful, not talk about you yet. Uh, so you have to talk big. If you don't talk big, you will never get big. You have to be deep that. Our mind is very powerful. Like what uh, this uh, uh, had mentioned that you have to tell yourself. You're all going to uh, talk about big plan. You will get big very, very important. So the, then the other thing, if you can dream it, you will check it. You, if you never dream it, uh, you will never get. What I have uh, myself and Janet today, we have, uh, I can tell you, is no say we are there to dream. That's why we have it today. Uh, so this is important. But one thing I want to tell you, if think big is still not enough. But think big is important to make you success, but still not enough. You have to believe big. A lot of people think big, but they don't believe it. That's why they are not successful. They are still poor outside. So the important, uh, your success, uh, the size of your success is determined by the size of your belief. How much you believe, you will get how much. If you not believe enough, I can tell you your success is very small. So I think uh, if you have little goal, uh, you don't expect big uh, success. You will have to have if you have a little goal, you will expect that you have a little achievement. So, friend, think big. So here, a lot of people say, think big, how can I do it? I'm so busy. Uh, I want to tell you, start small, or start small, but you have to think big. Even you, you got a, a constraint with your time, but you have to start something. Even you start a small thing, like example, you start to uh, talk about a uh, product, this small thing. But your thing, uh, you have to think big. You have to think something that uh, you can achieve big uh, goal. That is important. So you have to think big. And don't worry about too many things at once. A lot of things, uh, sometimes you heard about people, so you're successful, they do this, you have to do that. Don't worry about that. Because you are not going to do at one. Uh, you take it handful, a handful of simple things uh, to begin with it, you start with that. Whatever you can do one, you start with that. I can tell you, uh, you then will progress uh, to have more complex one. That is important. Not think about tomorrow. Don't think about just tomorrow. You have, but you have to think about future. This is what uh, our platform for. Our platform here, a lot of beautiful people, a lot of beautiful Ocean uh, speaker willing to bring up their experience and share with you, and they go and find a lot of information and deliver here. So this is a beautiful platform that can help everyone. But you have to think big. You have to believe big. You will be there with us together to become a diamond. I was waiting for you at the diamond club. Thank you. I pass back to Ellen. Okay, thank you, thank you, our Diamond, Diamond Erwin, uh, for his uh, precious uh, advice, okay, 
And uh, so I hope everybody will start to uh, think big, think very big, and also uh, start getting crazy. Huh? Okay, so let everybody see that we are crazy, okay? And all right, before we end, uh, next week, we'll be having uh, two guest speakers. Okay, one of them uh, is Bay. Uh, she's uh, sharing with us with the topic of uh, building a sustainable business. Okay, Bay is a mother of two and graduated in fashion design. Okay, and she's a professional hair and makeup artist, beauty consultant, and social marketing designer. Uh, while she also actively builds her MWA network business. And then uh, secondly, followed by the, this uh, Alan. Uh, looks familiar, this guy. Uh, oh, Alan, that's me. <laughs> okay. Uh, I was in the foreign property investment industry for 10 years and then I operated the fish farming business for six years. And uh, because uh, I started uh, using the MWA products uh, uh, for more than 10 years, so uh, and uh, on consultation with my uh, mentor, uh, Casey and Tony, uh, and the confidence of MWA product quality, I also started uh, building my MWA business. So uh, hopefully I will see all of you again uh, next week uh, to join us uh, in uh, on the same day, same time, okay, same channel as well. And before we end tonight, I also uh, would like to share some uh, 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 a topic, uh, something which is related to wellness. Okay, so uh, somebody asked me about uh, how to stay healthy. And uh, so I told him, uh, just do uh, regular walking, try to comb your hair, you know, uh, so with the comb touching your scalp or this, right, so the... the massage your, your, your brain, so which is related to uh, what uh, Daryl has shared, okay? And then also uh, listen to song and laugh out loud and also at the same time sing song, you know? So with all this, you can uh, actually uh, maintain a healthy lifestyle. This is the basic, you know? So uh, this friend of mine uh, hit my advice and uh, he started doing that. And then he was uh, arrested by the police. Oh, I got a shock. You know why? Because he did all the, the action, all this action, all at the same time while walking on the street. So imagine he's walking and then combing his hair and listening to a song with the headphone on and then uh, laughing out and also at the same time sing out loud. So the police arrested him. <laughs> okay, so this is just a, just a little joke before we end. Okay, so thanks uh, for, for uh, uh, joining us uh, tonight. So. Uh, it's late, and so uh, I wish everyone have a good night, uh, have a, a sweet dream, and then I'll see you again next week. All right. Goodbye. Good night. Awesome. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh,